Well, my mother, Yasmin David, was a 20th century landscape painter. Um, she started painting in her early teens in the 50s and painted right through to her death in 2009. She moved to Luscombe in Devon, where I was brought up, in the early 60s and was mostly painting there throughout her life with reef spells living in Sicily and South Africa. Um, but I think the main body of her work was the Devon landscape around her home. It was the landscape around where she lived and that she loved. And also there was a very particular Devon light that was always sort of present in all the work. And this was something that I noticed after she died because I started to look at the work and we basically made a memorial exhibition for her um, about a year after she died, mainly for family and friends. And I just began to sort of really look at the work and, and see that there was this um, very common thread running th through it um, that was to do with the very specific Devon light. So now every time I look around in Devon, I see her paintings everywhere, which is, which is really lovely. I started to sort of go through the work that we knew about um, in the months following her death because I wanted to put on this exhibition. So that all happened quite quickly. And, and there was a lot of work that we grew up with in the house that was on the walls and the, of her studio, the bunkhouse in the, in the orchard. There was a lot of drawings that were sort of on the walls that I would sort of get pick off the walls and they'd been eaten by slugs and everything. And I was like, well, this is all part of it. I'll just, you know. Um, but I sort of was very much interested in preserving that work and showing um, pretty much the whole thing um, at a local gallery called the Aerial Gallery in Totnes. It was a very big space, lots of white walls, and uh, we filled it with her works. So it wasn't like there wasn't a very significant body of work already. But then I started in lockdown in Devon with my children and my, and my husband, and he went away for the weekend. And I got to looking around and just looking outside and I just opened this cupboard door and inside were like I just started taking one out one out after the other and just found that there was just more and more and by the time I'd finished cataloguing them it literally took me the whole weekend there was over a hundred paintings in there most of which we'd never seen before um, that had just been in there some had never actually been taken out ever uh, or, or seen by myself or any of the family. So it was incredibly exciting uh, to find those and particularly um, some of the larger canvases that had just been like put in there and were facing against the wall, uh, including a very, very large um, woodland stream landscape on canvas, 100 by 100. Just a perfect painting that had never... <laughs> been taken out of the cupboard or seen by anybody so I think that was when I began to think oh we have got a really significant body of work here because a, a life's work because there's now over 250 paintings and probably the same amount of drawings. Uh, we also found um, a drawer of notebooks um, stretching right back to the early 60s, um, poetry notebooks and also notebooks where um, she wrote like diaries, weather diaries, where she wrote um, every day about the light and the weather and um, colours and all this kind of thing and they're very kind of poetic and we felt that there was a really strong connection between her diary writing and her painting so we wanted to make that connection by sharing some of these notebooks um, as part of the exhibition um, uh, because we felt it would shed light on the process. She was always writing, she was always photographing, she was always um, collating information for, for her paintings and so we wanted to show um, those different elements. We were invited to the opening of the gallery um, when, um, after it was built, the Career of St John designed and built this amazing, beautiful building, which we're in now, and, and which we were blown away by when we came for the opening. And we loved the gallery. We loved the, my mum loved the contemporary um, architecture and the, the wood walls and the concrete and everything. And she, I remember her saying, this is the sort of setting I want for my work. We just, you know, never got round to it. It was something we were busy with other projects. And then obviously when she died, I started to sort of think, okay, I want to start showing this work with her implicit agreement because when she was dying she said to my father um I think it was a day before she died she said I'm I, I agree with you Jules she used to call him um that my work is good
and um, you know after all because she was quite sort of self-effacing about it and, and very private about her work she did it and as we know she you know did it and just put it against the wall and you know it dried there and it stayed there for like you know, decades um because she if i mean if she had her way none of it would be framed at all it would probably just be put on the walls you know with no frames but what we decided to do was frame it in a very very simple way so it didn't in, in any way sort of interfere with with the, the rawness of the work in a way and a lot of it's very textured and there's one piece that's behind glass but most of it is just framed very simply but I think the other reason that we wanted to show it at the New Art Gallery Walsall was because um, it was built in, in 2000 to house her aunt's collection, Kathleen's collection of 20th century art and we just really wanted to show it within that context we just knew that that was where we wanted to start this whole story.